So here we've got here is the FAF 1222. An absolutely wonderful machine, but the problem that we had with it is this here, a broken cam. So we had to replace it. I couldn't find much to actually resolve and have it change, so I had to wing it. So hopefully you can share with me. You can see this here. This is the cam here that we've had to replace. So there's lots of little things that need to be adjusted in order to take it off. So I'll show you what I did and hope this will give you a bit of assistance. So in order to slide the actual complete shaft out, the first thing you've got to do is disconnect here. You've got a little lug, there's a little hole in there with a little lug in there. So we take off the circlip in there, we loosen the screws around that. You've got a little collar here which holds the zigzag. You loosen that, you take off that circlip there and this one as well. You then slide the whole shaft to the right and in that little area there a little screw will come out. You've got to remove that screw. You can slide it. You can then take that out. Once you've removed that, you can then slide the whole shaft back this way, but you've got to remove the complete shuttle mechanism as well. That's feed dogs and all the rest of that. So once you've slid that out, you then Remove that gear, you put the new one on, and then you slide it back in. So then you go along and put the circlips in and um, tighten that, tighten that, and put the circlips back on here as well. So then you've got to time it. So the way I timed it was I left the screws loose on here, I kept rotating the shaft until the actual needle was at the bottom and the actual feed dogs had taken out of play, halfway through out of play. So I then screwed that on and then we came and connected in the cog and did the timing there. So I hope that gives you some idea. It's now working very, very well. I would love somebody to come and tell me what a simple, basic job it is and how I got it all wrong. But don't forget to put that screw back in there and the secret with that screw in there is it's tapped all the way through, there's a hole all the way through. On one side it's countersunk, on the other side it's countersunk and then pre-drilled for about a 30 second of an inch. You must make sure you put it in that countersunk and 30 second of an inch drill hole because if you put it in the other side this slider here won't slide up and down. It took me a while to work that one out. So hopefully my experience will make life a little bit easier for you. So now we've got it doing what it's supposed to be doing and I'm going to put it all together. So this is a FAF 1222. An absolute gorgeous machine and here's to hoping that I've done it right. Thank you for your time.